Awesome. Mike's Daily Podcast. Thank you for listening to this show. This simple podcast broadcasting from a restaurant, cafe anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont, the last place on earth. I'm your host, Mike Matthews. We are getting so close to Thanksgiving and my birthday. And I can't wait because there's so many things that happen on Thanksgiving. The stuffing, the turkey, the pumpkin pie. Mike's Daily Podcast. And the Friendsgiving. Yes, there's a thing called Friendsgiving now. And Saturday Night Live did a funny skit. Mike's Daily Podcast. And there was singing involved. Oh my God, I'm singing. And there was Steve Carell. Steve Carell is a funny guy. And he is really swell. And when he yells the word no. No, God! It's funny too. My name is Bob Matthews. Mike Matthews. Bob Matthews. Hmm, I like that name. Whoa. Mike's Daily Podcast. Podcast. But yeah, that's what it was a funny thing about Friendsgiving and he singing with Cecily Strong and Mike's then there's this daily guy that gets stabbed. Podcast Saturday Night Live is what that Yeah It came from that. My friend, I am getting so sick of this smoke. Here's the hypocrisy of it all. In the Bay Area, you have so many people that smoke pot. They smoke the sticky icky. The Marijuana And they They are still smoking Despite all that Look who just walked in Poppy needs that sticky icky for his glaucoma Yeah (laughs) Or they're smoking cigarettes And like the other day I was driving home and look who walked in Hi Mark it's Benita the Brody Queen How y'all doing That's a disgruntled fiddle player Tell you what What does Benita sound a little weird? Yeah, she does sound a little odd. Look who else walked in. Oh, my, can I make the delicious root beer? I'm the brewmaster. Oh, oh, I have some right now. Thank you. I am I have to tell you, maybe Benita doesn't sound right because of all the smoke in there. That's probably why. Get out of my case. She says, get out of her case. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi, Nelly. Yeah, that's my horse, Nelly. She didn't like the smoke either. Mmm. Sorry, Nilly. Yeah. That's right. In fact, it's so right. It's right. And here's today's podcast picture. I'll tell you. The podcast picture. Yeah. So people are... I, I was driving home, and this happened twice on Friday. Driving home from work. There are people in convertibles... And they've got their hand out. Basil. He's doing well. He's sleeping right now. So shh, don't wake him up. Well, he's not sleeping here at cafe anyway. He's at home. But yeah, so these people are driving by with cigarettes sticking out of the window of the car. I'm like, don't you, you idiot. Ugh. Makes no sense. So let's see. The podcast picture we had. Oh, was Basil, who we just heard bark. That was on Friday. Uh, Thursday was my lovely lady friend and I. And oh my God, it looks like... So whenever you post a picture of your dog or of your lovely lady friend, you're bound to get a bunch of people a response on Facebook. That's the theory anyway. Let's see, in fact, what happened. May I get some kind of a drum roll, please? No, not one with your stupid making one up out of your mouth hole. There we go. Oh, okay. Hey, so we got uh, uh, the famous actress, Meg Ryan, listens to the show. And she apparently loved a lot of the pictures with Basil. Because she met Basil at Half Moon Bay about a year, a little over a year ago. And has we've ha, talked back and forth. It's, she's let me know how she's doing with her dogs. Her, she lives on the East Coast. She lives over there. Over there. Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Virginia. Somewhere over there. I'm not going to be specific. Oh, it looks like it was Courtney's birthday yesterday. I missed it. Oh, well. And it was, oh, gosh. This one guy I worked with in Alabama. He was supposed to be our uh, person that handled all the promotions. Had to, you know, 
do, he was the one that was supposed to set up all our events. Well, he didn't do anything. I had to do all of the work. So I'm not going to wish him a happy birthday. I still hold a grudge for that, even though it was 10 years ago. Ah, let me tell you something that revenge... Oh, what's that expression? Revenge is a dish best serve cold. You talked about that. I will. But back to my friend Meg. She uh, was giving me some advice about Basil's back legs. And the podcast that I did where Basil wasn't acting very... He was, uh, like, not moving. He was very... Oh, that's that was a scary day. I've tried to block it out of my head, actually. I think that was on Tuesday... And he wasn't getting up. He was just laying there. It turned out I was able to figure out it probably had a lot to do with this uh, treat that we got. These treats we got from a local Pod Castro Valley pet food store. But she was saying, you know, as dogs get older, they get the arthritis. It becomes painful for them, the back legs. And she's going through that situation with her dogs. So, you know, they need the, the arthritis medicine. As people do. And I, I'm i cool with that. I'm not cool with injecting steroids into my dog. The, I know a lot of people do that. And that's bad. It's bad for their liver. And they're only good for a little while. And then all of a sudden they're back to being bad again. How do you explain that to a dog? You've, you've made your dog a super dog again. And all of a sudden it wears off. And he has to go back in for a shot. And he's not feeling good anymore. I don't like that. I like to just... Give you know the dog has you can't talk to the dog. You can talk to the dog, but then you get people looking at you. But everybody talks to their dog. At any rate, that's my opinion on it. I might be completely wrong. SNL also did a funny skit about meet your second wife. Have you seen this one? I think it's been out for a while. And there's these three guys, these three contestants. They think they're on for another game show. Then all of a sudden, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler come out. And Tina Fey is playing herself. Amy Poehler is playing some other character. And they go, let's introduce you to your second wife. And they're like, what? That's not the... So they meet their second wives and they're all... They come out. And the second wives are all young. They're all like eight, ten years old. The premise being, of course, that years later, they'll divorce their wife for some young 20-something. And one lady comes out and she's in her 20s and the guy is, oh, that's that. That's OK. At least I'm not. Well, no, uh, his second wife isn't the lady. It's the unborn daughter that she is carrying. That will be his second wife. So it's kind of a jab at guys who marry younger women. And that's funny, huh? Hmm. Well, let's see. So, we're all breathing really bad air in the Bay Area, which may explain a lot of things about this podcast. But we're also, we're also at the same time uh, making our way towards Thanksgiving. And we're getting visits from the president. And we're getting... Wait, I wrote this piece of it, this little note to myself. Someone... Starting to give me advice. Oh, yeah. So I've been getting advice from people about things in my life going on. And I I can't thank you enough. Even though I may not always agree with your advice, I thank you. But someone was starting to give me advice. And they went, yeah, you know what you should do? Oh, never mind. And then they walked off. (laughs) What's that? Hmm? A never mind and walk off? How do you... What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, here's a picture of Natalie Gelman. I once interviewed her on Mike's Daily Podcast. She should be a huge superstar by now. I don't know what is going on there. Ah, and here are some pictures of people that I used to know back when I was married and I was friends with their family. But then their family all but completely disowned me. Oh, what a nice... Those are cute pictures. Oh, why do I go on Instagram? Dang, stupid, what's-his-face, Zuckerberg. The, the thing is, as we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. That, uh, there's a guy who... Oh, Trader Joe's. 
That guy, Trader Joe's. Have you been to their wonderful store lately? I ask on this FF episode 1747. It's 48, 1748. Which, by the way, there will probably only be two or three shows this week because I got my birthday and then, you know, the whole Thanksgiving thing, which I know you're looking forward to so much. It's going to be Friendsgiving Friday. Friendsgiving Friday was where I was going with that. So, yes, on Friendsgiving Friday, you've done the thing on Thanksgiving, maybe. You got that extra day Friday. People got nothing to do. Invite them over. Invite them over for leftovers or possibly make something that has nothing to do with turkey. I'm all for that. Maybe some salmon, beef tenderloin. Is that what I'm... Beef. Or... It's not what's for dinner. Maybe you're going to make something else. A, I don't know, even a stir fry. You could do a stir fry with your leftover turkey. At anywho, Friendsgiving. I look forward to your Friendsgiving stories. 336MM Daily is the number you can call or email me, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. When you go to Trader Joe's, which this time of year I always end up in a Trader Joe's. In California, they're all over the place. When I lived in Alabama, there weren't any. But then we would drive like an hour and a half north and we'd go to Nashville. They had one that opened up there. Even though they didn't sell beer, they were not allowed to sell beer. Could we get their two-buck chuck? No. I don't think they sold wine either. Stupid blue laws. And anywho, that was a great time to go to Trader Joe's. And then you pick up that... Fearless Flyer. And the Fearless Flyer, let's say you leave Trader Joe's and you go, oh, what else do they have that I could have gone back and bought and shoved a bunch of money into the... Is it Aldi's that owns Trader Joe's? That German company? Some kind of German network owns it. The Bilderbergs? I don't know. So you go and you go to... So you read the Trader Joe's Fearless Flyer, which they've been doing forever. I remember when I was a kid and there was a Trader Joe's in Sherman Oaks, California. And my dad and I going there. And I was, what is this place? It's so cool. It's so dark. They were dark back then for some reason. And they had these fearless flyers where they would, they, these the little news, these little magazines, these little newspapers, like, like about 10 pages stapled together. And now it's more like a newspaper where it's all folded together. And they've got these little cartoons that are done like old Victorian etchings. And it's usually very nicely drawn, black and white. And then there's some kind of funny little quip. Or not funny. Or it has, you know, something to do like with whatever article next door. Let's say they're selling goat cheese. And you've got this old Victorian guy with a big top hat and his lovely lady with her uh, beautiful... A bounding dress And he says to her Ah I feel like a goat Nay For some cheese And That would be the joke Yes That's a great joke Isn't it It's so It's uh Very funny Thank you So that's what you find With the fearless flyers And I I I love fearless flyers I love goat cheese And I love Going there and But I don't You know what though The the prices You sometimes think You're getting a good deal And and you're not So And then the parking lots For Trader Joe's Are always tiny And you can't get in Except for the one in Fremont It's actually adjacent to It's like a big It's a huge Actually my car stalled (laughs) I couldn't get out of the Trader Joe's parking lot One time This was fairly recently Because my battery died And I was stuck in the Fremont Trader Joe's parking lot Waiting for a Jump start. So, yes, as I watched the people go in and out with their canvas bags and they're walking out with their various uh, basil plants. Speaking of basil, is that who we're going to have a pe- podcast picture of? I'll let you know in a moment, but that's the end of the show. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Madame Rita Vega, Valentino, and Bison Bentley. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your advice. Thank you. For being a fan of Mike's Daily Podcast, I'm going to try to keep giving it to you, no matter what the circumstances, for as long as I can. Thank you so. 
Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ah, the podcast picture is from about a year ago. Oh, my God. I think it's a year ago almost to the day that I was in... I forgot. I went to uh, the Cannery Row area. I was in Monterey visiting some friends, and I brought Basil the Boxer down there. So, yes. And Basil had a good time. He said this and that. But it was such a beautiful, clear day. Oh, it's probably one of the best days I've ever been down to Monterey. And you can see that picture of this nice little point. I think they call it the... Near the Sock Shop Cannery Row, Monterey? What? Or San Carlos Beach Park? It's in that general area. Also near Lover's Point State Marine Reserve. Okay? So in that place, you will see this wonderful picture. And off in the distance, Sea View, I think is the name of that town. And uh, the, I don't know, Castroville might even be in this picture. See it at mikesdailypodcast.com.